can finish now. I still got two more verses to go. I'm finished for the day. But God it wants to remove your fear and replace it with faith and give you joy in the valley. Musicians are coming. Let me, would you stand with me as we open up the doors of the church and extend an invitation to you if you're here as our new members directors come forward to come and become a part of the Trinity family. It's a simple step of faith of coming down front and letting us introduce you either on your Christian experience or as a candidate for baptism. Either way, as the music is playing, this is a great day to make a new beginning. And it's a simple step. Our arms are open to you. The invitation is extended to you. Won't you take the step today and come? The doors of the church are open. If the Lord is moving on your heart, won't you take that step today? He will pick you up and turn your life around. Is it one who will take that powerful step today and start a brand new power-filled beginning? If so, we invite you to come. Let the love of Christ bless you and let this family receive you. Praise, praise God. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Give him some praise today. Welcome, family. Amen. The doors are open. Is there another who would take that step of faith? You ought to know him, get to know him. Our arms are open. The church doors are open. The invitation is extended. Won't you come? Won't you come? Nothing better than knowing Jesus. He gets sweeter as the days go by. You ought to know him. Get to know him. Right now. Just come. And take your seat. The doors are still open if anyone wants to come, but just sit. He gets sweeter. You ought to know. Right now, today. Let's give the Lord one more hand clap of praise for our new members that have come to join us. Thank you, family. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And God is good. Amen. And He's worthy. To be praised. Aren't you glad? So glad. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, we have with us Adrian Campbell, who is coming to uh, accept Christ as her Lord and Savior. Oh, praise God. And Amen. also coming with her today, uh, she would like for her son, uh, Devon, uh, to be dedicated. And uh, her niece, Essence, would like to also be baptized. Amen. And her daughter uh, would also be baptized. What's your name? The daughter. Amana. Amana. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Welcome. God bless you. So after.
Let the church welcome them to Trinity. Amen. If the deacons will come and join us, we'll, we'll prepare for our communion. And if you don't mind, I'll serve you communion there, family. The deacons will join us. Get two of our ministers to join us. afternoon church Rev has asked me to offer prayer over the supplements here uh, before I do so I have to say this this series that Rev has preached has been just a blessing to me I don't know if it's blessed you but it has blessed me and even today as I was sitting there just listening to him I was also thinking about our Lord, and by the way, this Lord's Supper is all about Him. And I was thinking about the day that He was betrayed. And, you know, He had asked, asked the disciples, He says, go into the city, and, and uh, there has been a room already prepared for the Passover. And I thought about that. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. I mean, just, and I just want you to think about that because he said to his disciples, I desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. And in the presence of our Lord was certainly an enemy. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. And I just thought about that. That resonated with me. And as the Lord sat there with his disciples, he took a loaf, he broke it, and he said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. My body, take, eat. And he said that after he had blessed the bread. And then he took a cup and he said, take, drink, for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you. And as I think about that, I just think about what we do here today. We do it in remembrance of his death. You know, Christ died for us. I, I don't know how you can really kind of sit there and, and be blasé about what God has done for us. The Lord shed his blood for us. And I just, you know, sometimes, let me just say one other thing. Sometimes, some people, you know, you hear people say we're, we're saved. And there are others who say, saved from what? But if you have not accepted the Lord as your Savior, you're going to one day stand before God. And you're going to have to give an account for your sins. And I have to tell you, without the blood of Jesus, you cannot stand. Not in that judgment. So I just ask you today before we partake to examine yourself. By the way, the, the word says that. Examine yourselves. Because what we do here today is so meaningful. So, if you would, please pray with me. 
Dear Lord, we just thank you again for this day. We thank you for an opportunity to partake of this Lord's Supper. The Lord said, do this in remembrance of me. And so we do it today in remembrance of our Lord and the death, the death that he suffered. Father, we just thank you for your plan of salvation so that we might be reconciled, reconciled to you. Thank you, Lord. Father, and as we prepare to take these elements, we just ask that you would bless them in a way that only you can. And we pray, Lord, that we go from this place stronger than we entered this place. Help us to be able to proclaim to a dying world that only by the blood of Jesus are we saved. And so, Father, we just ask that you would bless it and we pray it all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And I like to ask that if you are a believer, whether you are a member of this church or not, you are welcome to partake. And we also ask that you would hold your elements until everyone has been served. God bless you all.
representing the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which was given for you. Let us eat together. And representing the blood of our Lord and Savior, which was shed for the remission of your sins. Let us drink together. The scriptures say that after they had shed the Passover meal in an upper room, they went out toward the Mount of Olives singing a hymn together as we recover the old cups and prepare to close out our time together of worship. Let us joyously prepare to close. As we now take our neighbor by the hand and prepare to close in prayer with our heads bowed and with our eyes closed and our hearts humbled before the true and living God, assuming an attitude of prayer and lifting our hands to him in praise. Has the Lord placed anybody on your heart? Who needs to know about Jesus who needs a closer walk with Jesus is there anyone that the Lord has placed on your heart who just needs an invitation to come and worship and fellowship and study and grow closer to Christ. With that, those people on your mind and on your heart, let us close in prayer now unto him who is able to keep you and me from falling and present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. But to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, power, now, henceforth, and forevermore, let all God's people say amen and amen. Holy. Holy. a hug before you leave today and invite somebody new to church next Sunday.